Okay, here I am in Adobe After Effects CS4, and I just created a new comp and added a new AE solid, which I'll keep as a 2D layer, to my comp. And I'm going to apply from the BCC6 3D Objects category filters, the BCC Extruded Text filter. Because what I want to show in this video is a texture feature, which is new to the BCC6 um, for After Effects 603 update. We've added some new text animation options to the BC Extruded Text filter, text jitter being one of them. So let me apply that. So we have a extruded text object there, and I've applied an extrusion style. And if I move this light around, you get an idea that it is indeed a 3D extruded text there. And First I'm going to go into letter transformations. In the original release you had tracking, which I'm going to adjust here, letting and baseline, and letter rotate. Um, they were all static parameters, not animatable. Now we've made these animatable and we've added some new um, skew, some new typographical controls, letter scale, um, an individual X and Y letter scale and stuff like that. So. Um, for now, I'm just going to increase the tracking a little bit for my effect that I want to make here. Um, in a separate movie, I'm going to show there's also additional animation options in the text path feature. But for now, we're going to go to the jitter group. And the way it's set up is, let me just uh, jitter something so we can see the effects. I'm going to jitter the position Y. And so you see it there, jittering. So we have jitter seed, which is just sort of a randomization seed, so you could offset um, the sort of random algorithm there. Jitter speed, if I can slow it down a little bit. And so you have jitter seed and jitter speed, and then these, jitter position x, position y, angle, scale x, scale y, are the actual parameters, um, the actual attributes of the text that are being jittered. So, um, And this restriction pop-up, if I wanted the position Y to only go above the original baseline. Um, I could do that. So now it's only going above. Um, or if I only wanted it to go below the original baseline, I'd do that. Um, in my case, I'm just going to leave it with no restrictions that way. Um, this polarized control kind of tweaks the jitter algorithm so that the text characters kind of alternate more. You see how it's a more mechanical kind of piston-like effect there and there's, you know, you could just make it a little more like that or, or not at all. Um, or, you know, have the other ones be be the, the ones that are going up. You can kind of reverse it. In any case, for this effect we will not use the polarization um, feature. So there I'm jittering uh, position Y. And why don't we add a little angle and maybe scale Y. And so we have this sort of jitter where it kind of looks like it's hopping around a little bit. Now this master jitter amount is incredibly useful because if I want the whole effect to sort of just tone down a bit, I can do that. And if I want to animate it down to zero, I can do that there. And, of course, if I want to, you know, make it really increase it a lot, I can do that as well. Um, so it's nice because, because this master jitter amount controls the amount of jitter for all these um, parameters, which can be jittered. It, you don't have to individually adjust or keyframe these most of the time. You can Often, you can use just the uh, master amount, which is really useful. So... Um, if I toggle over to this composition, which is sort of a more advanced version, um, one thing I should mention with this jitter is that uh, it's best used with color-based materials um, because the jitter is actually applied at the vector text level, like sort of pre-extrusion. So um, it doesn't give you such a natural look when using texture maps or bump maps. Um, it's, it's sort of most effective um, with the color materials. Although in certain effects, it's, it, it can work with, with a texture map. So here, um, let me preview this to RAM. 
See, basically what I've done here is I'm just trying to make the uh, master jitter amount in relation to the music. And then I have, um, I'll stop this for a second and just play it. Rather than PTR, you see the, the spotlight control here. So like all uh, 3D objects filters, it obeys the um, After Effects 3D lights and cameras. And so what I did here is I animated some camera moves also along with the sound um, from the music to create this effect. But you can see how this jitter effect really um, can sort of liven up your text, can really sort of invigorate the look of your 3D text here. And it's new to BCC6 for After Effects version 6.0.